In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this one animation. So yeah, stick to the video. Let's add a solid, white solid. Go to free pick, then go back to after effects and bring them. Now we want to mask only this part. So yeah, let's just take this part and mask it. And now let's add a text. Let's turn it to maybe black. Let's also center it. You can change the font if you want. I'll leave it just like this. Now you can add any preset to it. I'll add this one. It gives it that look. For the bounce effect, let's just add. Let's remove this keyframe. Okay, let's keep this one. And bounce this one. By the way, this is a free script. And let's bounce this selected bounce. Okay, let's check it out. Now let's add position keyframe to this. Over bit and add. Let's make it here. Let's maybe make it down a bit. Also add a keyframe here and bounce this keyframe. Okay, cool. No, adjust the speed. Also add a keyframe for opacity. Okay, maybe it starts like this. Let's add this graph. Okay, it looks cool. Okay, let's add a new text. Change its color to maybe Arno gray or something. Make it exactly like this. To maybe add points with it, maybe. Let's also add our our presets for it. And the same keyframes as the other text. So it starts like this and it ends with a pulse on it. Maybe shift it a bit. Looking great, maybe just trace it a bit more. Okay, cool. Okay, let's pre-compose this. Just leave the background. Let's make this 3D. Add a camera. Add keyframes for the camera. And maybe starts like this from far and it comes this way and add your graph okay, let's add a null make it really add keyframes for it now let's make it go all the way up until the message disappears okay just like this i'll add this graph for it show it is speed graph and maybe easy ease then you gotta drink your graph all the way here and here just like this and extend this a bit Yeah, I like it this way. Maybe a bit, maybe a bit less. Let's cut our layers to this point. Very cool. For the second, this is a transition, by the way. For the second clip, let's go to this site, splash, and write down iOS. And you have wallpapers. Uh, for me, I like this one. So I'm going to use it. You just copy it and take it to After Effects. Maybe scale it a bit more. I'm going to use Shape Layer. So we have Shape Layers like this. Okay, let's pre-compose it. Let's add an Adjustment Layer above it. What you can do is add Chromatic Displacement to it. Let's Shape Layer Comp 1. Select this one. And, and check this eye from here. So you have this glass effect, that new iOS glass effect. And for the ones who doesn't have chromatic displacement, I made the script that allows you to make that glass effect with only one click. So you just select your shape layer and click glass and boom. I'll leave you guys the link in the description for the ones who are interested in the script. And yeah, let's get back to the video. Maybe, I don't know, just keep tweaking them. Now go inside your uh, composition. Maybe adjust this one like this. What you want to do is adding keyframes to our shape layer. So just add size and roundness and go for like 20 frames. Add also keyframe. Let's uncheck this and go like this, like this, this, this. Maybe let's make it a bit like circle. Now let's make this an O. And now when our animation starts, it's going to be like this. Now let's add the graph here and bounce it here. So it looks something like this. Okay, now so you have something like this. Maybe just 
it's shifted a bit like this so it starts with a bubble and goes like this maybe let's change this one you kids i don't know yeah this one is better you know let's go to free pick again i found these buttons i'm just gonna download them yeah let's bring them to after effect let's also add a mask for our desired apps click okay, cool. on now we have these icons adjust the spacing maybe put this like this maybe this here maybe here here okay now you know select this and this and order them together order the spacing let's add keyframes for them opacity and uh, position let's move like this down make the opacity o and add your keyframe here then bounce it here adjust the speed maybe the opacity a bit faster okay now let's order them take the first one here the second one there's the second one here fourth one here Okay, cool. Now select all of them and uh, click this to ship them a bit. Okay, cool. Maybe shift the keyframes to just the speed as well. Okay, cool. Uh, it's looking. Okay, let's see our animation. Okay, let's make them a bit faster, like. Okay, cool. Cool, now let's add a camera. Let's make it go. Let's add keyframes to it. Move a little bit. Add another keyframes. Now let's make it go from, from bottom to top. Scale this a bit. And let's add this keyframe. It looks just like this. Okay, now let's copy these. Let's add it for our composition because as you can notice, this is this is not moving. This one is not moving. So let's just add it to it. Because that effect doesn't let you pre-compose. And if you don't pre-compose, you can't move it. So let's just add it here. Ease it. Okay, looking great. Okay, now, and now it's moving with our animation. Look. Let's add a cursor, let's add a position keyframe for it. Maybe make it 3D and make it smooth just like this and from this, maybe. And make sure to curve it just like this, maybe. Let's make it start from here and it goes like this. And also adjust the graph. Now let's add the null layer. Let's add keyframes, move a bit, add keyframes, watch it just, yeah, just like this. Copy these and ease them here. Just this. Now add the new long, add keyframes, and go like this, and go all the way up. So it disappears. Now add your, add this graph. So it goes like this. Okay, let's add these keyframes for this too, for our comp. Let's add a position keyframe here. Then go here and see where the animation ends. Let's add it here too. Then copy these keyframes. And take them to our comp. So it looks just like this and ease them here. Now make it go all the way up, just like that. See how it goes? Just keep adjusting this. Maybe, maybe move it a bit less, just like this maybe. So it matches our uh, animation. Like this, let's go again. See it? Okay, just a bit. No. Let's cut it just right here before it goes all the way up. Just add a cut. Now we have these two animations. For more details, guys, what you can do is make a pop off. You can duplicate these and add like a fill effect here. So if a fill effect has to be white, stick it white. 
unless you have like an opacity keyframe for it so it starts as a hundred and it ends as an o so it gives that cool looking animation there and if we added the glow to it it's like even better this is more details it gives this more details it's really great i'll add it to all our icons and show you how it looks okay let's pre-compose everything so far for our third animation we're gonna we're gonna go back to our site splash maybe let's add uh okay i like this one it looks cool paste it here i found this window walk up here let's download it okay cool for the last scene we're gonna use that cool looking mac transition for this we're gonna need the free extension called motion bro let's have mac effects transition let's apply this one okay let's see it we just have to maybe like this and also a check and check this so it gives that animation as you can see let's take screen, a screenshot maybe this part let's add it to after effect new solid this color take this like this and make sure you add a mask to it so it looks just like this and now pre-compose these go inside your composition add a new solid Put it exactly like this and add a text. I enjoy this video. Let's add a text. Put it on white so it fits exactly like this. Add your animation to it. Now we can pre compose all of this window. Scale this maybe down a bit. And let's add a camera. Make this 3D. Scale it a bit more. Okay, let's animate our camera like this. Move ahead maybe like this from here okay, maybe like this let's keep adjusting our camera be okay, cool now let's add our keyframe let's shift the keyframe a bit maybe a bit like this then we can add a new null add keyframes for just adjust our graph maybe something like this keep tweaking the keyframes until you are satisfied with your animation let's add a new null color it and add keyframes maybe and take it here maybe like this and like this okay guys that's it for the video let me know if you find this video helpful also check my shop down below i have so many useful scripts that you can use to make your workflow more easier and don't forget to like and comment for more videos thank you